What's up gamers, Farls here, and there's a brand new title update for Madden 19, so let's break down exactly what's in it. This blog does a really good job, but I'm gonna give you five specific things that I really like. First up, gameplay-wise, there's a new hit stick formula, less defensive knockouts versus possession catch, and play action pass blocking upgrade. Now there's some things if you're a franchise guy, or solo battles, if you weren't getting your playbook um, in a solo battle game, and then some visual changes. I'll link this full blog so you can go read it, but I'm pretty much just going to focus on the gameplay, although Kyle, Laletta, Derwin, James, looking extra nice. Gameplay updates, catching. So this is the first thing. Tuning to decrease the frequency of defensive knockouts versus catches, especially possession catches. So if you were pressing A, holding down A on the sideline or over the middle, and you, were drop, you thought you were dropping too many footballs with possession catch, uh, they've tuned that to decrease the frequency, so definitely don't um, avoid those possession catches and make sure you use them, especially on like third and seven. Second most important thing to me, there's some other uh, catch fixes, but you can read the blog. But one thing I'm really looking at here is tuning um, hit sticks to increase the frequency of broken tackles versus hit stick attempts. So I actually learned something here. Hit stick outcomes are determined by using the defender's hit power rating, which is POW, versus the ball carrier's break tackle rating, BTK. So I actually would avoid be looking at break tackle in the past. I'd either look at elusive or the truck rating or speed. I never really factored that in when I picked a ball carrier and ultimate team. So the break tackle rating actually uh, important here with hit stick outcomes. And then of course we all look at hit power, but it seemed like corners were getting good hit sticks. Everyone was getting good hit sticks, but now um, you're going to see tuning to it increase the frequency of broken tackles. So you wanna now know what your player's hit power rating is, consider the weight and momentum, um, and you wanna know who you're going against break tackle wise. So I thought I was just really good at hit sticks, but apparently uh, they're gonna be more broken tackles and you've gotta consider if you wanna go for it or not. That's the second big thing. Blocking is huge as well, number three. Uh, block targeting and behavior for play action pass blocking. Why I think this is important is because I believe Play action passes have some of the best routes in the game. They have deep crossers, big uh, big shot plays, post routes, like the really, really good routes that are really rare and only really found in play action. And so um, you want the pass blocking to be great. And, you, and it works a little bit different than regular just straight pass blocking. So the fact that they've increased that potentially – uh, the block targeting and behavior for play action pass blocking is big because you want to be able to use those plays as much as possible and those best routes and best plays got to got to put those back in your playbook if you weren't using them before now another big blocking change my number four is tuning to slightly decrease early block sheds versus the run game on all madden competitive game style so if you've been playing sim or competitive on all madden and you can't run the ball Tuning to slightly decrease early block sheds. So if you've been getting shedded against, you can't run in your yards per carry yard down, um, but you've been able to run an all pro, that would be something you want to go back and check out. So don't give up on the ground game yet. If you're just not good at running and you can't run an all pro either, make sure you're not holding turbo, you're using one cut, and you're, you're working the left stick. Um, but this is important. So... This note is, is really key because it, it shows you what their thought process is and why they're tweaking and changing um, with the um, yards per carry. They're able to kind of track, see where things are, and make some changes. Now, the last update I want to specifically call out, besides all this other great stuff you should definitely go in and read about, is uh, quarterbacks who are left-handed. So if you've been using Steve Young or Mike Vick, a lot of people out there use Mike Vick, sometimes they would, they would look uh, back to the line of scrimmage and uh, that has been fixed as well. So those are my five big changes from the title update, but there's so many good notes in there, so you should probably dig through and see um, changes for yourself. I'll link that, and until next time, guys, leave your uh, comments or what else you want to see as they update the game all year in the comments. Stay hungry, lock up, we'll talk soon. Thank you for letting me read you this book.